Hey, this is Kathy from Kathy Cooks For You and welcome back to my kitchen. I have a family recipe for you, a delicious poppy seed cake that dates back to at least my grandmother. Now I talked to my aunt about this recipe and I was actually asking her questions about Christmas time and what my grandmother used to make at Christmas and what she remembered was she would make the divinity which is that old-fashioned white candy with the almond in the center and she also made a poppy seed cake. The funny part of the story is, is when my Aunt Teresa was telling me this, she said, you know, she had all these fond memories and she found the poppy seed filling, like this, in the baking aisle at your grocery store. Now this is in the baking aisle by the graham cracker crust, you'll find other pie fillings. So that you would find this poppy seed cake and pastry filling over in that section. If you don't, you can easily get it on Amazon and I'll provide you with a link down below. And so she bought one of these. It's a solo poppy seed cake and pastry filling. She bought one of these and she thought, oh, it's gonna give me that feel from my mom. So she went in and opened it up and took a scoop of it and thought, oh, it's gonna be delicious. And it wasn't because this is like poppy seed syrup. I mean, this is some sweet stuff. Let me try it. Mm such good flavor but not what you want to be eating from the can it's not pudding it's not hot fudge syrup or frosting and I just thought that was so cute that this reminded her so much of her mom all right we are gonna start by putting four eggs into our mixing bowl with one and a half cups of vegetable oil I have to tell you it's really hard for me with this recipe not to deviate. Um, I deviate pretty much on every recipe, but I'm going to do it exactly this way, and then the next time I make it, I might deviate. And how I would probably deviate is there is no vanilla or almond extract or lemon extract in this. Now, I love poppy seed and almond extract. So I am having a hard time not wanting to put a teaspoon or two of almond extract in this. But for the sake of this vintage recipe and, um, keeping it pure, I'm going to make it just like the recipe says. So we have our eggs and our oil, and then we're gonna put our sugar in here. And I'm gonna take this over to my mixer. You do not have to mix this in a mixer. I have to because of fibromyalgia, you know, all that mixing and stuff really messes with my elbow. And I am trying to get rid of the cake elbow I already have from beaten sugar in from a couple times a couple months ago. So I will go over to the mixer, I'll meet you over there. And we are going to alternate putting our sifted flour with baking soda and our one large can of evaporated milk. Okay, now the fun part. We are going to add that can of poppy seed in and it is going to look fantastic. We are going to beat this for two minutes. Okay, I'm gonna be perfectly honest. I tried the batter and I feel it needs almond extract. This is going against me completely not to put almond extract in, but I'm not going to. I'm going to stick to this recipe. So I'm gonna pour the cake into an oiled floured bundt pan and it will bake at 350 for one hour. It tastes delicious, the batter. Wow, this is a big cake. I'm nervous. I think I'll be putting a pan underneath it because this seems like a lot of cake in here. So I'm a little nervous, so I'm gonna have a pan underneath in case I have some overflow. We'll see. Hey guys, while this cake is baking, I would love it if you would support me and press that subscribe button below. Also, at the end of this video, make sure you give me a comment or a thumbs up. Here we have this beautiful cake. It actually did not overflow and it took an hour and 10 minutes. So I'm going to flip this baby over and we are gonna let it cool and then it'll be time to try this deliciousness. It almost looks like a gingerbread cake, doesn't it? How dark it is on the outside. 
Wow, that's beautiful. This cake looks so good, I cannot wait to cut into it. Lovely. Oh, this is so pretty. Let's see what it looks like together. Ooh, rich, delicious, oh my goodness. That is so good. First thing I noticed was the crust has a delicious kind of chewiness to it, and I bet it's from the can of poppy seeds. It has such good poppy seed flavor and sweetness. I do not think you need vanilla or almond extract. It is so good. Now I did, I did the testing with the toothpick and it came out clean at an hour and 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, that crust is absolutely fantastic. Even the bottom crust, it has a chew to it. Wow, so good. I think I might just eat all the crust. Thank you so much for watching Kathy Cooks for You. I hope you make this great holiday treat that my grandma used to make. Thank you so much, Aunt Teresa, for sharing it with me. And thank you to my mom for keeping that recipe for so long. So if you have not subscribed, please do so below. Click that red button that says subscribe. Also, there's a bell next to it. Click on that and you'll get notifications every time I post a video. And I would love to hear from you with a thumbs up or a comment. I hope you have a wonderful day.